So I don't know if you guys have been watching what's happening in Parliament lately, but man, Trudeau and Pierre Polyev are continuing to butt heads. And, you know, if you look at what's happening with Justin Trudeau, every time he speaks, every time Pierre Polyev breaks his balls about the carbon tax, Trudeau just goes completely unhinged. And he starts raising his voice and just starts talking about other things, not answering any questions. I was watching yesterday, it was a clip from a couple days ago, I believe, and <laughs> Justin Trudeau, for the, I think this is like the fourth or fifth time now, I have seen him refer to conservatives in Canada as MAGA conservatives. Um, hello, stupid. What does the first A in MAGA stand for? America. Oh, we're talking about these, these MAGA-style conservatives here in Canada. There's very few of those. You think everyone who's thinking about voting for Pierre Polyev is a MAGA conservative? Canadian conservatives are much more socially liberal than American conservatives, generally speaking. Most Canadians who are conservative do not support Donald Trump. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Like, he's losing his mind. And Pierre Polyev just keeps hammering home these financial issues that Canadians are going through. And it's resonating with so many people. Now, what's interesting is I did hear that uh, Justin Trudeau is thinking about enacting a universal basic income program. Now, that will probably help him in terms of his polling. There's a lot of Canadians who are socialists and they would love a free $2,000 a month. Who wouldn't, to be fair? I'd like a couple grand a month for free considering how long we've been ripped off for. But there are people out there who don't realize that this money has to come from somewhere. Well, just tax the rich. No, they're going to leave. If you're making 500 grand a year and they're going to come for 60, 70% of your money, move. Most people who are making a lot of money can make their same amount of money with an online business. Right? Whether you look at people who just run e-commerce websites or they do, they have a really good uh, high-level podcast or you know, whatever they're doing online, whatever business you have, most of it doesn't need to be done with a brick and mortar. And if it does, you can still move that business. It's more expensive, but it's still doable. It's going to be worth moving that business to save tens of percentile of your money. Yeah, you're going to have to pay taxes if you move down to Nashville or wherever you're going to go. But not nearly, you wouldn't be paying 60, 70%. But that's what these socialists want. They want handouts and they want the government to tax the rich. What do they mean by tax the rich? Anyone who makes any more money than they do. That's who they declare as super rich. That's not going to work. There's a reason that people from socialist countries and communist countries leave and come here for opportunity. But you don't want opportunity. You want the government to be your daddy. What I want is the government to help us be more prosperous, lower the taxes, and make housing more affordable so that we can work and strive. Not just, oh, well, it's not fair that other people are rich. Take their money and give it to me and my neighbors. No, that's not how it works. I'm not saying they shouldn't have to pay taxes because we do need infrastructure, we need roads, but they don't even fix those. Olivia Chow in Toronto, what does she want to do with money? She wants to change the name of Dundas Street. It's not going to go to helping people. Okay, what, do you, what don't you socialists understand about governments yet? They don't want to help you. They want power. The only times they will help you is when things get so bad, people start really uniting for an issue. And then you'll see the conservatives, if it's a financial issue, it's the conservatives who will come and fix it. And there's so many financial issues right now, and Trudeau just can't, he doesn't have any answers for it. So he wants to now, he, he basically wants to buy your vote. I'll give you fifteen hundred or two grand a month, whatever it's going to be, to vote for me. Without asking any questions of where the money's coming from, is the tax the rich plan even going to work? They'll just take the money. And that is a really, really good way to destroy a society.